Hello you guys and I welcome you back to my channel, His Girls DIYs. Today I would like to show you two simple uh, projects that you may recreate at home with just a few materials that are mostly found at the Dollar Tree. Let's begin with the first flower arrangement. Here are the materials. You're going to have four coasters in this little wooden box that we're only going to be using the outside. After you remove the wrappers from the coasters, you are going to begin gluing them, the first two, onto the box itself. Now I will be using uh, hot glue and it really does the trick. It holds on pretty strong. So the now the first and second coaster, I'm, I'm gluing them to the front and to the, the rear. Now these coasters need to be leveled to the ground, to the table that you're laying them on. You just don't want it to be a wobbly floral box. So the first two are, as I said, glued to the front and the rear. Now we're ready to glue the two sides. And for this, you're going to now add the glue to the sides of the previously glued coasters. So I'm, as you can see, I'm adding the glue directly to the sides and adding that other coaster onto that, making sure that it is level to the other two coasters as well. Now here's the last one. And as you can see, it's different from the others. So let me just tell you that I could not find any more of the same coasters at the Dollar Tree. So, because I couldn't be going out to so many different ones, I, that's all I picked. So, now you have a real planter, you guys. So, at this point, you have to choose. Do so you want to use it for live plants? As I'm using there, you could plant directly into the planter, or I chose to just use some floral foam and glue it into the box. And now I could go ahead and add my silk florals. Now I bought these silk florals at Walmart and Dollar Tree. So the first one is the lamb's ear, which is this lovely greenery. And this second one is from the Dollar Tree. And this lavender bunch is from Walmart. And I believe they cost about $1.47. Uh, for each one of the bunches. So I am using the lamb's ears. I'm cutting them to size and I'm using them on the corners and I'm going to use um, more of a symmetrical uh, look. I'm going to give it a more symmetrical look. So I'm going to be adding those to two opposite corners. I'm going to be adding the focal uh, rows right in the middle and the little hydrangeas. I'm going to add them to the opposite opposite corners. Now the lavender, I am going to use it only as fillers. So there it is. I'm just bending it to where they need to be. And that is pretty much it for this project. Now I made this project for my mother. Now her birthday was just days before Mother's Day. So she already has this at home and she loved it. So I hope you get to make this. It really is very simple. It costs pretty much about what? Six, seven dollars to make. And um, and there, it's very simple. Between five or six minutes, it's done. Now, if you have liked this project, please give me a thumbs up. I so appreciate that. It helps my channel grow. And if you wanna see more of these uh, projects, please subscribe. Once you subscribe, just press the little bell and it will be notifying you every time I add a video to the channel. So what do you think? I loved it. All right, you guys. So we're going to start on our very, on our second project. And for this project, you're going to see is going to be more like a platter. Now the materials that I'm using is a vinyl placemat found at the Dollar Tree and this pizza pan also found at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be removing the label and I'm going to be painting it with um, acrylic paint that's called pewter found at Walmart. I believe it's like a dollar or a dollar fifty. Um, but all you need to do is paint the rim um, of this pizza pan. I painted way too much. So now I'm going to be drawing a circle around 
the placemat just to guide my scissors as I'm cutting. And once I have the circle, now we're ready to glue onto the pizza pan. I'm going to be using two types of glue. The first one is gonna be an E6000, which is for permanent hold, and here is the hot glue gun for an immediate hold as well, while the other one dries. So there it is. Now, I'm going to be adding all of this greenery, starting with leaves. I added the leaves like a base and now I'm ready to add the flower bunches. Now I am using the same flowers that I had used in the previous project and, um, and as well as some random little bunches here and there that I usually save. And um, here's the lavender. I'm using more of the lavender that I was, that I was using on the other project. And I am using more of, of a um, symmetrical look as well. Um, I believe symmetry brings balance. So whatever I do to one side, I'm doing it to the other side. Now the other material that you are going to use or that I used here is a ribbon. Now I searched through my boxes of ribbon and this is the one that I kind of thought that worked best for this project which is going to be a striped one and that's just what I had at home now I wish that I could have record this on a better angle so that I could show you and walk you how to make a, um, a bow but it was such a bad angle I'm so sorry by the time that I realized it it was at the end anyways I'm um, just looping them making sure that they are even each loop to the other and crunching it up together into the middle and using a floral wire to tie it together and then cutting it and now I'm going to just glue it onto the very top of our platter now I love this part I am using just ribbon to make it look like a flowy look of you know the ribbon just entangled in the middle of all these flowers but guess what <laughs> I ran out of ribbon and there goes my symmetry I did not have enough ribbon to the to add to the other side it was hard I was so, so sad, but guess what? God is so, so good that I ended up finding some of the same ribbon on the floor. I guess a little piece have fallen on the floor and God turned my, my, my sadness into joy um, right then and there with this cute little project. I'm just adding some of this baby's breath, just as little fillers, and now my project is almost done. I will be adding the additional little piece of ribbon after I find it on the floor by the grace of God. And that will be all. So if you have enjoyed both of these projects, I really appreciate you give me a thumbs up and that you Will subscribe to my channel I'm going to be adding more videos to the channel now that I have extra time at home and um, so I really appreciate it you could find more more of my crafts I make paper flowers and you can see me doing that in Instagram and I'm going to link um, at the link on the bottom and I'm also going to add the link to my Facebook page I appreciate you viewing you're taking the time to see these projects thank you and God bless Bye for now.